The following program is paid for by Main Street Living. Hi, I'm Pastor Matthew Harrison, President of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Starting in the late 1950s, Lutheran Hour Ministries aired a television program called This is the Life in their efforts to bring Christ to the nations. It was a critically acclaimed show that used story and drama to convey eternal truths from God's Word. And it featured actors who were just getting started in their careers. Recently, Lutheran Hour Ministries, in partnership with Main Street Living, remastered and brought to HD quality about 50 of these programs. You may notice some young actors who have become very famous. And even though the props and styles are of the 1960s and 70s, the subject matter is still very relevant. So please sit back and enjoy this week's episode of This is the Life. Hello? Warren? Oh, what a delightful surprise. Where are you, dear? Yes, I see. Ten days leave. Oh, that's wonderful. When will you be here? 6.15. Flight 71. Oh, we'll be there. Would you like me to call Eileen and tell her? Oh, I forgot. She called me last week and told me she was visiting her sister in Chicago, but she'd be home tomorrow. so glad you called. Oh, yes, we'll be there, but I'll call the airport first to be sure your plane's on time. Goodbye, dear. Oh, why, Pastor Martin, how nice to see you. Hello, Nora. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, no, no. Come in. Thank you. I stopped by your office and your secretary told me you had gone for the day. Yes, I did leave a little early today, but I'm so glad you came by. I have just had the nicest surprise. Warren called from the Houston airport. He's coming home on leave. I know you and Cliff must be mighty anxious to see him. Oh, it seems such a long time since he left home. Well, after this good news, what I had in mind doesn't seem very important. I just wondered if you're going to handle the cabin rentals up at Cottonwood Lake again this summer. Yes, I am. Are you planning to go up? Last week in September. I want to hook some of those bass. <laughs> I'll make a reservation for you. Thank you. Well, hi, Cliff. Hi, dear. Hi, Pastor. Uh, come on in and sit down. I've got something to tell you. Uh, later, Mom. I, uh, I, I've got a lot of work to do. Excuse me. I don't know what's come over that boy. He hasn't been himself lately. I'm sorry, Pastor. Oh, he probably has some school matter on his mind. Well, uh, I must be running along. Oh, about the cabin. Do you want the same one as you had last year? If it's available. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it suits my purposes just fine. I'll let you know as soon as possible. Thank you. Bye. 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 again. <laughs> I'll uh, put your bag in the bedroom. Oh, thanks, Cliff. Are you glad to be here? Oh, I've been counting the days. It's too bad Eileen isn't here. I'm sure she wouldn't have gone to her sister's if she'd known you were coming. Well, that's what I get for trying to surprise people. I'll just uh, have to look at you till she gets back. Huh? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a poor substitute. 
You know something, Mom? You are as pretty as ever. It's the same flattery. The <laughs> army hasn't changed that. Oh. I believe you've grown taller. Ah, no, it's, it's merely an optical illusion created by the uniform. Hey, 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 hey. Mmm. -hmm. Does that smell good? What is it? Oh, that's something I know you'll like. And it's almost ready. Well, let's go see. Well, in the beginning, you, uh, you feel you're never going to make it. And then, uh, somehow everything just works out fine. Oh, thank you, Mom. Basic training's rough, but, uh, once you're through with advanced, you're, uh, you're tough enough for just about anything. Well, I must say, you look like it agrees with you. Yeah, you look in great shape. Oh. Like I said, you have to be. <laughs> oh, man, that's great coffee, Mom. I'm glad you like it. So what's, uh, what's up? You got a date? I, uh, I did tell Marsha I'd be over this evening. Oh, oh. Well, good. Uh, how is she? Uh, she's okay. Must you go? I thought with Warren being home that you could... Oh, look, don't, don't let that stop you. I mean, uh, if Eileen was here, I'd, uh, I'd be over to her place. I won't be long. Cliff, when Eileen gets back, I'm going to give a small dinner party, and I'd like for Marcia to come. Will you tell her? Okay, I'll tell her. What's with uh, Cliff? Uh, he's awful quiet. He used to talk his head off. I don't know what's the matter with him. This last couple of weeks, he's been a different boy. Seems to be way off someplace. I don't know whether he's worrying over finals or, or what. I can't get anything out of him. He's been moody and withdrawn. Sure doesn't sound like Cliff. Oh, it's probably just some phase he's going through. He'll snap out of it. I certainly hope so. But it's probably girl problems. You know, everybody goes through girl problems, including me. You remember what I was like until I met Eileen? I know you'll be glad to see her. Have you decided when you two are going to get married? Well, no, we figured we'd probably wait until I, you know, got out of the service. I suppose that's a sensible thing to do. How are things with you? Right here? Really? Oh, I... I get lonely sometimes. But I keep busy. Hey! <clears throat> How's it going? Okay, I guess. Uh, old man Foster's burned down on me in English lit, though. Oh, boy, do I remember him. Oh, I'll make it okay, but, uh... I sure feel sorry for poor old Bob. Who is poor old Bob? He's a friend of mine in school. Well, so what? Well, he figures to bomb out. Oh, yeah? Why? Well, he's pretty much involved with this girl, and uh, it's, it's really got him bugged. It's not like a lot of the kids. Uh, they want to get married. Yeah, no, but... wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh... <clears throat> What do you mean, uh, pretty much involved with the girl? You want me to draw you a picture? Uh, no, no, but what I mean is, uh, is the girl in trouble? No, uh, but they do when I get married. Well, what did you mean when you said it wasn't like a lot of the kids? You know, some of the guys, they, they play around just for kicks, but, uh, this guy's really shaking up because, uh, because he's really in love with this girl. And like you said, he wants to get married. Yes, but they know their folks won't go for it, and, and they just can't come out and tell them... Well, you know, I, I mean, can they? <clears throat> no, I guess they can. What do you think he should do? Hmm? Well, uh, who do you mean? You know, my friend Bob I was telling you about. Oh, oh. Well, I, uh... 
I don't know. That's something you have to think about. You sure do. Well, now, when I was going to school, there was a certain amount of playing around going on, but uh, I guess there always was. That doesn't make it right. Some guys don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, they, they figure who knows what's going to happen tomorrow. Why waste time? Oh, yeah, I know. I've heard that one before. That's nothing new. <laughs> there isn't a guy in the world who hasn't said at one time, why, why should I play by the rules when the, when the world is falling apart? But does that make it right? Whether it does or not, it, it, it doesn't answer my question. Oh, about what uh, Bob and his girl should do? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's, it's a tough one. What would you do? I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. Goodness, I didn't realize I was going to be here this long. Thanks for giving me so much of your time, Pastor. Not at all. It was good to have this chance to talk with you. <laughs> In fact, I'm, uh, I'm mighty glad you came by, Warren. I know your time's limited, but I was hoping we'd be able to get together. Well, I'll be at uh, church on Sunday, but that's always a little crowded. <laughs> Besides, I uh, thought you'd probably want to know about the uh, cabin at the lake right away. Yes, that's good news. I'll have to call your mother and thank her. Okay. By the way, um, I... Uh, I was wondering, how's that young brother of yours? Uh, well, uh, we're actually a little concerned about him. I got that impression the other day. Now, he may be having adjustment problems, or it could be he's mixed up with this, well, you know what they call the now crowd. You know, live for today, tomorrow may never come. Yes, I know what you mean. And the now crowd seems to exert a lot of influence on young people nowadays. I've been trying to get with Cliff on this, but I don't want to antagonize him. I guess I'm just sort of looking for the right approach. Well, if you need any help, just let me know. Well, thanks, Pastor. Oh, Mother, you have outdone yourself. If the Army had cooks like you, we'd have every guy in the country in, in uniform. <laughs> well, in that case, I know lots of wives and mothers that'd be out of jobs. I guess I'll have to haunt your kitchen, Mrs. Hadley. I've got to learn how to keep him happy. Well, I'm sure you won't have any trouble, Eileen, but you know you're welcome here anytime. Uh, Listen, you keep coming back here, honey, and by the time I get back, you'll know everything that Mom does. <laughs> Let's go into the other room, shall we? Mm. Let's clear the table. Yes, why don't we listen? Oh, no, we can do that later. Let's relax for a minute. Sit down. Uh, Please sit down. Oh, there's only one bad thing about coming home on leave. What's that? Oh, a guy could get spoiled. <laughs> and I have a feeling you're enjoying every minute of it. Oh, you better believe it. When do you have to leave, Warren? Oh, I figure out the middle of next week. Well, I thought, well, perhaps that you and Eileen would be getting married while you were here. Uh, <laughs> wait, you see... What gave you that idea, Marcia? Well, you. You told me it would be at least a year till Warren got another leave. Yeah, but who said anything about them getting married now? Well, nobody, but I just thought... Well, if it were me, I'd just hate to see somebody go overseas, and who knows what might happen. Uh, don't, look, don't worry about it. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about the same thing myself. Oh, oh, well, now I get it. Now I understand. Yeah, now I see why you two were so quiet at dinner, huh? You're, uh, you're both a little worried about, uh, Uncle Sam catching up with little Cliffy baby here, is that right? <laughs> oh, Marsha. Warren was only joking. He didn't mean anything by it. Yeah, look, I, I was just kidding around. I'm, uh, sorry, Marsha. Come on, Marsha. You come with me. 
That's great. Yeah, great. <laughs> well, I certainly didn't mean to start anything off like that. Well, it was rather sudden. But you know, you're right. They were quiet all through dinner. It was pretty obvious. It was also pretty awkward at times. Maybe they did quarrel. Well, you know that I was just kidding when I said that. Oh, honey, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's mainly because Marcia was so embarrassed for what she said, and Cliff was a little sharp. I can't believe that what I said set her off like that. Too bad uh, we had to break up the party like that, but I knew I'd better take her home. Oh, I'm just, I'm just glad she's okay. Uh, look, if, uh, if I'd known that what I said was going to upset her, so I went. Oh, it wasn't that. Uh, she realized she shouldn't have popped off like she did about you and you and Eileen. Oh, forget uh, it. She's been uh, pretty touchy lately, anyway. Well, how come? Oh, uh. Her folks have been crawling on her. They, uh, they figure the only way to end up the uh, term is with straight A's. Well, that takes some doing. I'll say. I'll be lucky if I get a card full of C's. <laughs> oh, uh, can you spare a party a weekend? What do you mean? Well, I'd like to uh, go up to the lake, try a little fishing. How about it? You mean, uh... Yeah, just you and me. We'll go up on uh, Friday afternoon. We'll fish Friday nights, all day Saturday, and then come back Saturday night. Hey, sure. Sounds great. Uh, I haven't been up there since last fall. Good. I'll get the gear ready tomorrow and see about a cabin. I'm sure glad we came. Now, this is what I call peaceful. Not bad. Uh, there's just one thing I don't like about it. What's that? Gonna hate to leave it. It makes armies and wars and problems seem very far away. Doesn't get rid of them, though. No, but uh, coming up here kind of uh, sometimes seems to put it in proper focus. Oh, have you talked to your uh, friend Bob anymore about his setup? Uh, no. No, not really. I, uh, I haven't seen much of him. Well, from what I said the other day when you, uh, told me about it, I, I don't want you to get the idea I don't dig the problem. Well, I just thought you might come up with something that I could pass on to Bob, and that's why I told you. Well, I guess he's not too happy, huh? Well, uh, take it from me, uh, most guys are uh, tempted now and then. You can say that again, only... Only what? Only it, it doesn't seem to bother most of them. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Sometimes it's easy for a guy to forget uh, what he learned about right and wrong. Right, wrong. What do they mean now? Well, I think that we grew up with a pretty good idea. Uh, if you've got something else on your mind, uh, I don't mind listening. I might have known you'd figure it. Uh, there is no Bob. Uh, put my name in there and, and you've got the picture. I wasn't sure, but uh, I had a hunch. But it's like I said, Juan, this, this thing has really got the both of us shaken up. I can see why. I, I, I've been going with Marcia for over a year now, and, well, it, it may seem like kid stuff to you, but, but it's the real thing. It, it's not just casual. And, well, anyway, just about a couple of weeks ago, it, it, it just sort of happened. Neither of us intended it to. I'm, I mean, it, it wasn't like we planned it. It happens that way. 
I guess later on we just told ourselves that it didn't matter uh, so much. I mean, uh, some of the kids don't think it's wrong anymore. Uh, but it sure has been hanging on us. Well, you could tell that something was, especially when Marcia broke down the other night. Well, and that's another thing. I mean, you hit it pretty close about the Army. I'll be 19 in a couple of months, and I could get the call at any time now. And that's got to worry, too. Well, I can see why she was so upset. We want to get married, seeing where we are now. Now, look, you got to admit you didn't do Marsha a big favor. Now, don't get me wrong, man. I'm not a saint in an army uniform. It doesn't work that way. I mean, there's been plenty of times when I've just about blown the whole show myself. But you've got to look to the future. There's more to it than just next week. Look, I, I know that it's, it's happening now and to the two of you. And, and maybe, maybe it would be the best idea to get married. But look at the odds. I mean, uh, you owe something to Marsha. She has a big part in how you're going to play this. Besides, there's, there's more involved here than just you two. What about, what about Mom? What about Marsha's folks? I know. I wake up in the middle of the night and I think, and I think about it until I have to roll out for class. I don't know, this whole thing seems so unreal. Well, now, this may sound trite, but uh, have you prayed about it? Yes. I just about run out of words before I start. Well, sometimes the words aren't important. It's what's behind them. Can I give you a tip? Sure. Why don't you have a nice long talk with the pastor? That's a little way out, isn't it? I mean, uh, he wouldn't catch on to a thing like this. He catches more than you might think. I'll never forget, uh, I was just about to go into the service and uh, had a very long session about a lot of things, including things like this. I'll always be glad we did. Cliff, I realize it wasn't easy for you to tell me what you just have. That's for sure. It uh, wasn't easy to tell Warren either. I know it took courage. And that's a good sign, because courage is one thing you're going to need. I know, too, that the, the pressure of the crowd nowadays is overwhelming. Conform. Get with it. Do what the crowd's doing. You don't want to get put down by the rest of the crew. That's what I mean. It's easier to give in and go along with what's being done than to, than to risk ridicule for standing by your principles. I don't say that that was the situation in your case. But you were no doubt influenced to some degree by the... The go-ahead, who-cares attitude of today. I guess you're right. I... After it happened, we tried to tell ourselves that what we did couldn't be so wrong. Uh, I mean, we weren't the only ones, not by a long shot. Could you buy that? Could Marcia? Cliff, it may be the now thing, but it's certainly not in accord with what you've been taught at home or here at church, is it? No, I know, I know, and, and uh, that's that's what's been tearing at me. Uh, sometimes I I I almost have myself convinced that it wasn't so wrong, and and that I remember. Remember what? My conscience, uh, I guess, or whatever. I, what I learned here at church, and and what you told us in confirmation class. I'm glad you do remember, Cliff. They may call it the, the new morality or whatever they like, but actually it's nothing more than bold, open sin. I believe that a lot of people nowadays are, are being misled by, by fancy names. Fancy names for things for which our Bible uses some very ugly words. No matter what the now crowd at school calls it, the Bible calls what you and Marcia did sin. I'm sure that's what's tearing at your conscience. So right. Uh, 
I've been hearing that word every minute, morning, noon, and night. It's, it's, a, it's an ugly feeling. It, it's, it's like being cold and, and clammy all the time. I know we did wrong, but... But where do we go from here? Cliff... There are several levels on which your problem must be solved. Over against Marcia, your mother, Marcia's parents, and others. And with God's help, I'm sure everything will work out. But let's begin with first things first. You ask where you go from here. Yes, where? Where every penitent sinner goes when he knows he's sinned against God. To Christ. I, I, I've heard you say that many times in, in sermons, and, well, it all sounds so easy, but how does a guy like me do something like that? By believing what the Savior's told you. Remember his words. Him that comes to me, I will not cast out. I know, but me? Yes, just you. The Savior died so that every sin you've ever committed might be forgiven. You, Cliff Hadley. Christ died for your sin. Cliff, if I didn't believe that, I wouldn't be in the Christian ministry. Do you know what our Lord said to a woman who had spent her life committing sins similar to yours and was ashamed of what she'd done? He told her, go and sin no more. After he uh, spoke to me of God's forgiveness, he said, go and sin no more. And a as I was leaving, he suggested I bring Marcia in for a talk sometime. What do you think? Well, I, uh, I think she'd probably feel better uh, after she heard what he told you. I was just wondering if she'd be willing to go. Well, after hearing your story, I, uh, I have a hunch she'll be glad to go. Right now, I guess I'd better go and uh, talk to Mom. <laughs> I've got a lot of explaining to do. And it's not going to be easy. Well, it might not be as tough as you think. Well, tough or not, I guess I owe it to her. <laughs> I hope you found this program to be both entertaining and insightful. Even though the show was filmed decades ago, the concerns of those days seem to parallel many situations of today. We'll be back next week with another episode of This is the Life. In the meantime, I invite you to seek further wisdom from God's Word, the Bible, and I invite you to visit one of our congregations in your area. We are the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, and you will find our 6,000 congregations listed at www.lcms.org. This program has been brought to you by Main Street Living, which relies on the generosity of viewers to support this programming. They appreciate your prayers and would also appreciate your financial support. You can view additional episodes of This Is The Life on the Main Street Living website. Thanks for watching. And join us again next week, same time, same channel, 
for another episode of This is the Life.